Now let us see how the DVM works. Now the DVM, uh, the Dalvik virtual machine, a subset of uh, sort of a subset of JVM. Now, similar, just we can see uh, the analogy to a, a Java platform program. The Java source code is compiled into a Java byte code, and it is then interpreted by the JVM, and the output is generated. Now, in case of Android, the Java source code gets compiled into Java byte code. Now, that Java byte code or the dot class file is then operated by the DEX compiler, and it is converted to a dot dex format now the dex format is an executable format which is optimized for mobile uh, platform and the dex tool then combines all the dot dx class files on the system into a single classes dot dx file and which contains all the entire uh, uh, java code for the application now this has been optimized for resources now, for instance, if there is a, a string uh, variable that is uh, a same string variable defined in different classes, so the DX tool references a single uh, string resource for all the classes. And similar such uh, optimizations are done by the DX tool to make it more uh, memory efficient uh, since it has to be run on a mobile device. Now, we can specifically say that this uh, Dalvik virtual machine it, it was developed specifically keeping in mind the Android platform. So uh, it keeps in, into mind the constraints of memory, the constraints of uh, speed that we have on a mobile platform. So instead of directly running a dot class file, we are further optimizing the dot class file into a dot dx format, which is the Dalvik bytecode. And this format, uh, this Dalvik format is then executed by the uh, Dalvik virtual machine and the output is generated by the uh, system. Now, whenever we uh, install an app on a platform, it is then interpreted when we uh, run the app and then the app runs on the Android platform. Now, this we have found to be quite slow as compared to the iOS apps. So, recently we have made another modification that is the Android runtime or the ART. Now starting from KitKat, we have an option to use either the Dalvik virtual machine or to use the ART. Now what, what difference it makes between the DVM and the ART? Now DVM it does is it interprets the, uh, uh, the app code at runtime through a just-in-time compiler and every time you open up an app, every time it is interpreted and then the output is generated. Whereas in case of ART, it is compiled to the native code uh, when you install an app and every time then we run the app, the native code is then run by the, uh, the Android platform. So only the first time it will take time when it compiles the app to the native code and every other time the app runs much faster as compared to the DVM run app because this is interpreted every time you run the app. So we have made the system much more faster than the uh, DVM system and now slowly uh, it may shift entirely to the Android runtime.